When I was a kid, I would make model rockets. There was a book available called the, the Space Shuttle Operator's Manual, and I would pour over it for hours. The idea that I'm actually gonna get on top of a rocket in a couple days is just hard to fathom. Right. I think I reached a certain age and I had given up on the idea that I would go to space. In my role in mission and flight operations, uh, we were waiting to hear who the fourth astronaut was. One of my very good friends and colleagues, Michael Edmonds, called me and said, on behalf of Jeff and the senior leadership team, we'd like you to represent Team Blue and fly as the fourth astronaut. I don't know how many billions of humans have ever existed, but fewer than 600 people have seen the Earth from space. The curvature of the Earth, the thin line of the atmosphere, the blackness of space. You know, I'm happy to be one of the people to put my hand up and say, yeah, I understand the risks. I've worked in this industry my whole life. But I think it's important enough that we should do it and to show other people that this is something that is coming and something that will be available for them and may have some impact in their life in the future. Captain James D. Kirk, I think William Shatner, is the best possible co-passenger I could have for this flight. He was obviously a great hero of mine and many, many, many other space people. Having played the role of Captain Kirk, everybody assigns me the, the knowledge that a futuristic astronaut would have but I've always been consumed with curiosity, and it's the adventure that I feel so good doing. I was teary-eyed at this opportunity has befallen me. It's one of those moments where your life just flashes before your eyes, you know, like the Air and Space Museum when I was six, and when my parents bought me that telescope, working on the space station and getting this job at Blue. Chris and Glenn and Bill, it's so great because they're great people. It's a wonderful feeling now knowing that our names will be linked forever. That's really good. <laughs>